Hello everybody. For the past two and a half years, I've been working on my Vans RV7 and I've reached a point where I need to focus on the firewall forward. Consequently, I need to decide what engine and propeller I'm going to install. And although both the engine and the propeller are not part of a kit provided by Vans Aircraft, the RV7 was designed with a standard Lycoming engine in mind. Typically, RV7 builders install one of the many flavors of the Lycoming O360. The Vans finish kit includes an engine mount and a cowling for these type of engines. Now, it's not my intention to extremely deviate from the design of an RV7. However, I do think that there are better engines available than the Lycoming. Although the Lycoming is uh, a very reliable engine, and there are probably over 100 different configurations for the O360, they all rely on the same 1950s design. So I've been looking for better engines for an RV7 for years. Actually, I was looking for engines even before I started building my RV7. And the first question is, why buy an expensive aircraft engine when there are so many automotive alternatives, which are less expensive and easy to acquire? Well, it turns out that most uh, regular car engines are much heavier than an aircraft engine, at least compared to the power output, uh, which is of course a big problem in aviation. Also, these engines run way too fast to directly drive a propeller. Uh, a propeller spins at about 2800 RPM, so you at least require some kind of reducing gearbox, which will add even more weight to your whole configuration. And then there's redundancy. Most car engines are very reliable, but they don't provide uh, excessive redundancy. It's simply not practical uh, for a car. And if the engine fails, you just steer it off the road. Another issue is that uh, aircraft engines continuously run at 60 or 70% of maximum power. Um, a car engine is not built for that. They typically run at 20 or maybe 30% of the max power. So it will probably fail and die sooner uh, when used in an aircraft. Uh, there are aircraft engines based on car engines, but after very careful consideration, I decided to go for a genuine aircraft engine. Even in the subcategory, there are many choices. However, considering the power an RV7 requires, the options get severely reduced. Also, I did want to go for the high compression engine, uh, which means that you can run it on a lower octane. Uh, most aircraft engines run on a very expensive F gas or on a low LED, but I really wanted to use regular MO gas, either 95 or 98 octane. After looking around, it came down to either an IO360 uh, M1B of Lycoming or UL Power 520 IS. The UL Power is a Belgian designed airplane engine that looks similar to the Lycoming. The 520 IS is a six cylinder fuel injected engine that is modern and much lighter than the Lycoming. It also has a full aerobatic version called the 520 ISA, which is less expensive than a comparable Lycoming engine. Now, the reduced weight uh, is both an advantage and a disadvantage. In general, every kilogram that you don't need to get up in the sky is a plus. But the RV7 is balanced based on a Lycoming engine. Installing a UL power engine will not just reduce the weight, but drastically shift the center of gravity uh, to the back, which can be very dangerous uh, in some configurations. Therefore, some alterations to the engine setup are required. Just adding weight to the engine solves the problem, but that will be obviously stupid in aviation, so you don't do that. I did some CG calculations uh, with different configurations, shifting the UL power engine uh, forward, and came to the conclusion that if you place the engine 20 centimeters forward, the CG will be within the design specifications. Uh, because of the reduced weight, the CG will fluctuate more, uh, but within limits. So I need to extend the existing uh, Vans engine mount or build a complete new engine mount from scratch. It turns out that the guys that Im import the UL power engine to the United States um, already built an extension kit for the uh, Lycoming engine mount of about eight inches, which is just a little over 20 centimeters. So it's a perfect. Uh, fortunately, they also built a matching uh, extended cowl. But then there is a rotation speed of the UL power, which is a little higher than the Lycoming, if you set it to full power. It has a max power at 3100 RPM, which is too high for a normal propeller. Now you could run it at 2800 RPM, but that would reduce the output with 20 horsepower, which would be a waste, of course. 
My initial idea was to use a three-bladed MT prop of 72 inches, uh, which can run at 2800 RPM. However, Airmaster specifically designed a constant speed propeller for the UL Power 520 IS. It has a 67 uh, inch constant speed propeller with uh, sensor inch blades uh, that can run at 3000 RPM. So I decided that the combination of an Airmaster propeller with the UL Power 520 ISA is really great for my uh, advanced RV7. The only remaining issue is the airworthiness certificate. Um, this will be the first RV7 in the Netherlands with a UL Power engine and an Airmaster propeller. And governments are not engineers. So when you register a new combination of a plane, an engine and a propeller for an airworthiness certificate, they will probably hesitate. So I guess convincing the government will probably be the hardest part of the whole endeavor. Continuing building my pie in the sky.